Hey, it's Relatively Retro Don here, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, some of my recent pickups, and there are quite a few. This is what I acquired in probably the past, I'd say, three, three and a half weeks. I went nuts over the holiday season collecting games and some movies as well. And since there's just way, way too many here today, I'm only going to pick out a few things that I picked up to talk about. Some of them are, you know, run-in-the-mill items that were important to me, and some of them are, you know, kind of on the rare side. Uh, and uh, on that note, on the rare side, we'll go to the first item here. I have, oh, he's hidden back here, Banjo in his cart from Diddy Kong Racing. And I also have Whizpig. And obviously I'm going to be careful here. I don't knock anything over. These are moderately rare. You can find Whizpig online for, I've seen him from between $20 and $50. However, Banjo, I have not been able to find him online recently. Years ago I saw him on there, but recently I have not seen him on here. I picked both of these up combined for $20, so I was pretty pleased with that. Um, I you know, haggled the store owner a little bit to get the price lowered, but yeah, he's definitely awesome. I love that. I love like little action figures and stuff like that. So uh, after that, uh, since we're on the matter of toys, this is another item I picked up. This is Rush. It's Mega Man's dog. This is actually based off of off the um, animated series, the Mega Man animated series. I think there was two seasons of that. And if you saw way back when I was first starting the channel, I had a video about some old action figures. And this is actually um, the pair that went along with uh, rather, it was paired with Mega Man. Let me show you. There you go. And it's pretty cool. You can have him ride on the top there. I'm not going to do it, but he can stand on there. And then, actually, he presses his legs in, and he rolls. It's pretty cool. But, yeah, I didn't do it far enough. Plus, you know, I feel bad for him, because what is this, like a 20-year-old toy? It's probably got, like, whatever the plastic equivalent of arthritis is. So... We'll give him a break there. So, uh, moving on, since I turned around, I also picked up Disney Infinity, like the starter pack. Up there I got uh, Iron Man, Thor, and Black Widow. That's new, I didn't have that before. And then, up here I got Time Crisis 4 um, for the PS3. This has the Gun Con as well, it's Gun Con 3. I picked this up for $4 complete with the sensors and the game and everything. It was ridiculous. Like, an insane deal. I can't believe I found that. Uh, I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise, even though it, it is a really good deal. I, I really am not into um, the later uh, Time Crisis games. I love the first one and the second one, but 3 and 4 were kind of eh to me. But I'm really happy to own that now, though, for such a cheap price, you know? All right, next here, this is the Shovel Knight Amiibo. I don't even know how rare this is right now. As you can see, I've been collecting so much recently. I, I really didn't have a chance to see how rare this was, but I think it got released on maybe the 8th of January. I don't remember exactly, and I saw it at a local GameStop, so I picked it up right away because I read that it unlocks a special mode in the Wii U version of Shovel Knight, like a two-player mode. So that's pretty cool, so that's why I got that. I love Shovel Knight, that was a great game, a really, really terrific, terrific retro game. If you haven't played that yet, you are really missing out, and try picking it up on the Wii U with the Amiibo here, so you can uh, unlock that two-player support. All right, what do we got, okay. I'll just pick one of the movies I got. I usually, you know, I pick up a lot of movies, but I mostly like to do, you know, video game-related discussions or videos on here, but this one, this movie, I heard it pronounced a few different ways, but we're just going to call it uh, Ex Machina. And it's really, really interesting. There could be a lot of spoilers if I don't think about what to leave out from this discussion here. But I guess the best way to say it is the movie is a representation of consumerism and how you know we're so quick to replace certain products and... Um, it kind of, you kind of see how that affects this female robot who starts to 
gain consciousness who realizes that uh, she's going to be replaced. And yeah, it's really, really good. Um, it's kind of scary, actually, at points, too. But I, I loved it. Definitely worth, uh, I think I, I got it from $9.99 from Amazon, but that was probably during the holidays. But I love that movie. All right, so we're almost done with the ones I'm going to talk about. I will, you know, give you a kind of a few screenshots, or maybe I'll take the camera around to some of the other items. But yeah, I can't go through all these, unfortunately. Um, the next ones are some Wii U games. Wii U games I picked up. I have Lego City Undercover, Bayonetta 2, which also comes with Bayonetta 1 for the Wii U. And this is the big one, Devil's Third. All of the... Let's see if I can... There we go. All of these are extremely, extremely rare. Um, the easiest... It's actually kind of in order uh, from Lego City Undercover being the easiest to find, and then Bayonetta 2 a little bit harder, and then Devil's Third being the third um, hardest to find. And I actually had to have that shipped from another GameStop, but I don't even know. The last I checked, there was like maybe one more uh, used copy of it across like the whole like uh, eastern side of the United States. So, I mean, if you haven't gotten it yet, you're probably uh, SOL because I think they only got like 420 copies across all the GameStops in America. That's just a rumor. I, I don't know if it's confirmed, unfortunately. Uh, oh, and it got bad reviews. That's why it got, it was released earlier, like overseas. It got really bad reviews. That's why they, they didn't release too many of them, unfortunately. So, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I looked up some gameplay. It looks awesome to me. That's just, it's just uh, something that I'm interested in. You definitely should check out gameplay first before spending the cash for that game though. It's like, what, like a hundred, it's easy, easily over a hundred dollars now. All right, so the next one here, we have X-Men Reign of Apocalypse. I'm gonna go through this quickly. Uh, it's kind of similar to the X-Men arcade game. I think it was in the 90s. And yeah, this one's for the Game Boy Advance. It was kind of hard for me to find, but I'm glad I picked it up. This is another arcade game, um, Data East arcade game called Captain America and the Avengers. I looked up all the different versions of this, the arcade, the NES, SNES, and the Genesis. And the Genesis was just the one that I wanted the most because of the slight differences in each game. Uh, it's pretty cool, you get to choose between Captain America, Iron Man, Vision, and I believe Hawkeye. So that's like a side scroller beat em up. Uh, the next one here, I got D2. This is for the Dreamcast. I believe it's a sequel to D, but I've never played it. And um, I think it's kind of like a Resident Evil type game. Uh, the protagonist seems to be a female, and it seems to take place in um, like you know Siberia or Russia or some oh Canada. I don't know why. Maybe I was just uh, thinking that, but it's in a snowy you know backdrop. And it looks really interesting, but yeah, a lot of the survival horror, horror I have so much trouble saying that word, um, themes going on there. I'm definitely interested in that. It was expensive, by the way. So if you're thinking about that, um, you should probably pick it up sooner than later because the price just keeps going up. If you guys watched recently, I had a very large uh, Sega Saturn pickups video. And so I picked up some other games for it. I had another one here somewhere. Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. We're not going to look at that. Um, I got Fighters Mega Mix, and then I got Knights into Dreams. This is kind of one of those games that you need to have on the Dreamcast. I also got the controller, which it escapes me where it is right now, but you need a special controller to play this game. And um, yeah, it's definitely one of the Sega Saturn must buys, must owns, from what I hear. I've only played a demo of this like years and years and years ago, but I've never played the full game, but I can't wait to. Okay, we're almost done. Next one here, Star Wars Chess for the Sega CD. I got this for 20 bucks um, from the same place I got this Banjo-Kazooie, uh, sorry, Banjo um, cart. And right now the going rate for this is like close to 80. So this was such an awesome pickup. It's in mint condition, it's amazing. I, I like, I'm scared just even touching it. That's what I hate about those Sega CD and Sega Saturn games. Like, they're so delicate. I, just, I hate touching them. Uh, I don't know. It's just scary to me. All right, we got Wild Arms Alter Code F. 
This is expensive. This one took uh, a while to track down. This is a remake of the original Wild Arms on the PlayStation 1. And I think, and I haven't played this or any Wild Arms games yet, but I think this is based off the engine for Wild Arms 3. I only have this one and the original Wild Arms 1. I haven't played either of them yet, like I said, but I heard this is great, and I think some people say you gotta play this, two, and three. So I'll get to them, but I mean, the cover artwork of this is amazing, and it also comes with a, a bonus um, anime DVD. A lot, of, a lot of the more expensive PS2 games tend to have that, I've noticed, like a, you know, an extra bonus disc, so if you wanna complete, you really gotta go that extra mile and spend that extra dollar. All right, so we're going. We're getting to the last one, and like I said, most of the time I do video game related stuff. But like I was talking about that movie, Ex Machina. I'm also going to talk about this game over here. I'm going to try and not drop everything. That'd be great. I could do that. This is uh, a board game called Ticket to Ride. Actually, I bought this for my wife for I think it was for Christmas, and this is really really enjoyable. It's so hard to explain what what it is exactly the best the best way I could describe it is it's like Monopoly meets Rummy uh, and and on a train I don't know that's the best way to explain it and it's so much fun though it really is enjoyable I, I would say it'll take you like one playthrough to really get the rules down and if you know if you guys don't care whoever you're playing it with if you guys don't care about you know screwing the other person over then you'd love this game but there are some situations where someone will get screwed over and it, it kind of can develop uh, you know someone into being a sore loser I mean I usually am not a sore loser and like once I realized that I had been screwed over by myself I actually screwed myself over in this game I was kind of a sore loser because it's it's a little bit of a longer game, so you gotta keep playing through even though you know you're gonna lose. Uh, so, really, I don't know, it's not so fun in that regard. But overall, I loved it. And uh, now that I'm much better at the game, I think my wife and I really enjoy it. We have a great time. It's definitely one of my favorite board games that I've played. And it's really popular in Europe. So, if I have any uh, viewers out there from Europe, you guys know what I'm talking about with this game, Ticket to Ride. But, you know, for. For uh, people here in the States, it's kind of unknown. But I picked it up for about $50. It's really expensive at Target. It's really expensive everywhere, but it's worth it. Especially if you like the games that I was talking about early on. Rummy, Monopoly, you know, a mixture of those two. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna show you some extra shots as I close out this video of all the games. This isn't even all the games I picked up. I picked up so many more. I, this is all I could fit on the table, though. So I hope you enjoyed it, and um, we're going to be coming out with a lot of more videos, a lot more videos shortly, but as you can see, this past month, this was uh, for collecting. I need to collect games because you know, I need to have games in order to do videos and video reviews and discussions on games, so I'm sorry that uh, we kind of took a step back with the you know video game reviews, but now you know why. Alright everyone, I'll see you next time, and thank you as always for subscribing to my channel. and I saw it at a local GameStop so I picked it up right away because I read that it unlocks a special mode in the Wii U version of Shovel Knight, like a two-player mode. So that's pretty cool. So that's why I got that. I love Shovel Knight. It was a great game, a really, really terrific, terrific retro game. If you haven't played that yet, you are really missing out. And 
Try picking it up on the Wii U with the Amiibo here. You, just, you can uh, unlock that two-player support. All right, what do we got? Okay, I'll just pick one of the movies I got. I usually, you know, I pick up a lot of movies, but I mostly like to do, you know, video game related discussions or videos on here. But this one, this movie, I've heard it pronounced a few different ways, but we're just gonna call it uh, Ex Machina. And it's really, really interesting. There could be a lot of Hey, it's Relatively Retro Don here, and today I'm gonna be showing you uh, some of my recent pickups, and there are quite a few. This is what I acquired in probably the past, I'd say three, three and a half weeks. I went nuts over the holiday season collecting games and some movies as well. And since there's just way, way too many here today, I'm only going to pick up a few things that I picked up to talk about. Some of them are, you know, run-in-the-mill items that were important to me, and some of them are, you know, kind of on the rare side. Uh, and uh, on that note, on the rare side, we'll go to the first item here. I have, oh, he's hidden back here, Banjo in his cart from Diddy Kong Racing. And I also have... Whiz pig, and obviously I'm going to be careful here. I don't knock anything over. Uh, Iron Man, Thor, and Black Widow. That's new. I didn't have that before. And then up here, I got Time Crisis Four um, for the PS3. This has the Gun Con as well. It's Gun Con Three. I picked this up for four dollars, complete with the sensors and the game and everything. It was ridiculous, like an insane deal. I can't believe I found that. Uh, I wouldn't have picked it up otherwise, even though it, it is a really good deal, I, I really am not into um, the later uh, Time Crisis games. I love the first one and the second one, but three and four were kind of eh to me. But I'm really happy to own that now, though, for such a cheap price, you know. Alright, next here, this is the Shovel Knight Amiibo. I don't even know how rare this is right now. As you can see, I've been collecting so much recently, I, I really didn't have a chance to see how rare this was. but. I think it got released for two seasons of that, and if you saw way back when I was first starting the channel, I had a video about some old action figures, and this is actually um, the pair that went along with, uh, rather, it was paired with Mega Man. Let me show you. There you go. And it's pretty cool. You can have him ride on the top there. I'm not going to do it, but you can stand on there, and then... Actually, he presses his legs in and he rolls. It's pretty cool, but yeah, I didn't do it far enough. Plus, you know, I feel bad for him because what is this like a 20 year old toy? It's probably got like whatever the plastic equivalent of arthritis is. So we'll give him a break there. So uh, moving on, since I turned around, I also picked up Disney Infinity, like the starter pack up there. I got for these are. Moderately rare. You can find Whizpig online for, I've seen him from between $20 and $50. However, Banjo, I have not been able to find him online recently. Years ago I saw him on there, but recently I have not seen him on here. I picked both of these up combined for $20, so I was pretty pleased with that. Um, I you know, haggled the store owner a little bit to get the price lowered, but yeah, he's definitely awesome. I love that. I love like little action figures and stuff like that. So uh, after that, uh, since we're on the matter of toys, this is another item I picked up. This is Rush. It's Mega Man's dog. This is actually based off of off the um, animated series, the Mega Man animated series. I think they're.